Hey guys, it's Jeff. Uh, I hope you're all doing real well today. Um, time for part 24 of the Dustwork 8.8 centimeter off 90 full mag in 135th scale. Uh, before we get started, I want to give a huge thank you to everybody that has given me any information or suggestions regarding this build. Um, Tim, thank you very much for, for what you sent me. Um, Nigel's been, Nigel's modeling bench has been great about sharing information with me. And I've got uh, a special shout out to James. Uh, James has a YouTube channel, uh, Jet Scale Models, that um, he sent me documents, uh, pictures, all, all kinds of things. Um, to help me figure out just exactly how this thing goes together. Uh, I, I just received two new publications from him this morning and they're, they're actually uh, German publications so I've got to look through those. Haven't had a chance to yet but there will be a link in the description to Jet Scale Models, James's web uh, YouTube channel. So if you get a chance um, go take a look. He's working on a uh, Mini Art Stewart tank at the moment. Lots and lots of armor on his channel and other things too. So anyway, let's go down the bench and see if we can't get this gun finished today, okay? Be right back. Thanks guys. Okay, uh, here we are back down to the bench again. Uh, before we get too far, um, one, a lot of you guys know that I've just recently bought a, a 3D printer, an FDM printer. One of the main reasons I bought it was for use in my modeling. I printed this the other day. Uh, I actually didn't finish it. It was going to be a little bit longer than this. With the intentions of doing something more like this. Okay. Um, this one here, the dimensions were a little too tight. So I redid it and printed it a little bit bigger. But uh, it's just so that, I, let me see if I can focus any better here. There we go. That's a little better. Just so I don't have to hold the gun. It's got some white tack in there. It's fairly, fairly secure. But uh, it'll sit there. And I can hold it without it, you know, worrying about breaking parts too much. So I, I think that's a good idea. That's kind of one of the reasons I wanted one was for tools, printing, printing holders, and that type of thing too. Um, also on these cylinders, talking to Nigel and talking to James, talking to several people, uh, Tim, and I, I've had so many people that have made some great comments. Um, it looks like, let me grab these real quick. The, the cylinders that, ex, that go underneath the gun um, extend as the gun is raised higher. So the original, when, when the gun is lowered, you would have a cylinder that was like this. If you can see that, okay. And as the gun was extended, the cylinder, apparent, apparently it looks like it expanded. Um, I'm just trying to get my parts together here. Oop, I'm, look, I'm getting things backwards. Let's see here. There's what we want. So as the, as the uh, gun would go up, the cylinder would expand and you would have a cylinder that was more this length. Let's see, I got this backwards. Okay. Okay. So this is what the cylinder would look like when the gun was way up in the air and this is what it would look like when it was lower. Instructions say nothing about that. So I'm going to go ahead and use 
this arrangement because that's I'm going to have the gun pointing way up when it's uh, in the diorama. So that's the way we're going to go with that. This is going to be a little bit tricky to put together because it's got this piston inside of here that I do not want to glue into place. So let's see what we can do. I think the best thing is going to be have the gun extended or have the cylinder extended and glue it down here and try and keep it from I, I just don't want to get that, that piston um, glued in place so we'll do that first and then once that's set I'll lower the piston and we'll glue the top in I think that's the best way to go so first off we'll do it extended it's going to be tricky I'll just have to keep playing with the the uh, parts to make sure that they haven't stuck together kind of twist it there and get the glue all the way around okay that should be a really good joint so I'm not going to mess with that until that is set so let's go ahead and do the same here. So we'll want to put this first. Okay. So as of right now, these are free to move. That's what I want. So I'm going to set all this stuff aside. And we're, we're going to use these later and glue it glue on here. We'll let this set up first. All right, let's go ahead and move on with a few other things. Um, let's look at the instructions real quick, okay? Okay, we're in step 37. We've assembled this last time. We've still got to do these two. And then we've got to put them together and put them on the gun. So all three of these sub-assemblies will be assembled into one. And then on 38, we've got, I think this is a site that has lots of little pieces to go together and then all that will go on the side of the gun and then it's just the barrel and I'm not sure what this is but we have to put that on and then a seat and then the gun goes in the back of the truck and we'll move on to other things so let me go ahead and get my parts together for these two assemblies okay and we'll get those put together and get this all attached to the side of the gun. All right, be right back. Okay, here's all the parts for the first sub-assembly. So we've got, if I can see them, this is H1. This is H14, H13, and H17. Okay. So if I'm looking at this right, let's go ahead and hold this with the tweezers. I'm just double checking myself. This will go here. Okay. Well, see, got it off camera, don't I? Okay. And then this will go over that. And it is keyed. 
a very, very, very shallow key. Okay, like that. And then this will go on here. Okay. We'll set that aside. Whoops. Hopefully I didn't knock anything out of straight. Okay. And then this is the next assembly here. I oh, know you can't see the parts there. There they are. Okay, this is going to be very similar. Just double checking my Okay, we've got, huh, okay, <laughs> somebody commented the other day and they like it when I say okay, just kind of my way of, I guess, uh, understanding things. That's a really interesting way they've got that lined up. Fits well. I've got to say that even though the instructions make it really difficult to figure out how things go together, when they do go together, they do fit pretty well. Okay. I think that's going to go that way. And this is going to go this way. Okay. And this will go over it. Trying to make sure that the keys are all lined up. And then this will go over it. That's the way that's supposed to look. Okay, I'm going to let these set up for a little while. And then we'll come back and we will attach them to this. And we'll get them put on the gun. Okay? Be back in a little bit. Thanks, guys. Okay, while these are still drying a little bit, I was going to put this, uh, I think it's a site together. It's uh, the first part, first subassembly, I think, in part 38. Yeah, part 38. This thing's really tiny. It's a lot of parts. Let's see what we can do with it. <laughs> I've dry fitted it a couple of times trying to understand just exactly how it goes. So. Let's see here. We'll start 
with this and this will go with this part if I can be on camera this down let's see if I can hang on to a little bit here this goes over it angled up whoa way too much glue sorry if I'm off camera here I hope that's more or less in focus this will go I can get it before the glue dries this will go here it's keyed get them there they go okay so this is going to be at a slight angle the way I get it in the directions probably about like that sorry this is so hard to hold on to okay then this goes over it and it's got a couple of little pins that will fit like that Okay, so far so good. Then we've got this. It'll set over that. With this pin pointing straight up. And like that. Let's get a little glue on there. Well, okay, that's the way it goes. if I can even keep it there Kind of like that, I think. Okay. Then, we've got this part here that goes behind. It sits here. that I think and then we have these that sit here Oops.
whoops, I think it needs to go up like that. Okay, and we have this. goes over it like that and then we have one more piece and there's a very very tiny not even a hole kind of a depression right there I think that goes there hmm You get so many pieces that interact. Okay, I think that's correct. I think. This is going to, whoop, and that moved. This is gonna to need to have some time to dry. I think I can leave that there. Okay, I'm not going to swear that's correct, but it's as close as I can get it. Okay, let's set this aside and let it dry. And then we'll get back on these parts. This is what we put together before, and this will go on the side of it, just like this, and it's keyed. See, that's still soft. Still easy to move it. Okay, that's going to need to set and dry for a little while. Okay, um, let's see here. This one here we can go ahead and fit. See, it's still kind of soft. If I'm looking at this right, let me back out here. Okay. This will go here. like that yeah, I'm going to give this stuff a little more time to dry and I'll be back shortly. Okay, guys, thanks. Okay, let's see if we can't get these uh, cylinders finished up. This joint's fairly firm now. I did sand these just a little bit, and I put just a little bit of a taper on them. 
so that um, hopefully they won't jam up against this other part here. See, they're a little bit tight. I don't know for sure how far this is going to extend, but it is pretty tight. So I want to make sure and keep the piston all the way down so we don't end up with any glue. And we'll try and glue that, glue that together to where we don't have too much glue running on the inside. Maybe it'd be better to put the glue on here. If I can get it to where you guys can see. Okay, that should be all the way around. Let's just set that aside. And then we'll do the same thing with this one. Let's see, is that something? I think I've got the wrong one here. Where are they at? This is the one I want here, I think. Yes, okay. Those are the longer ones. So this goes here. Okay. Try not to get any glue on the inside. Okay. I'm going to set those along uh, to the side let those firm up and the pistons are are free to move okay let's go back to this um, I'm hoping all this is fairly well focused this will go here there's a couple of locating tabs for it Okay, so it's just like this. Um, try and get just a little bit of glue around those tabs to get it kind of started. Okay, that's where it goes. real careful holding this other side. I don't want to break anything now. Okay. Trying to get some glue in there. And then this, which is that little site that we made up, will go on here. this Ooh. Okay, that is on okay there's a couple of pieces that are going to go right here we can go ahead and let me pull them up on my instructions here. We'll get those put on. Just trying to make sure. Okay. This will go on the end here. I'll glue the barrel and that on at the same time. This will go here. And it's keyed to go here. 
I want to make sure I don't get any glue on the the pivot. And that's almost in where it goes. There it goes. Okay. That's where that goes. And then we've got this that goes over it. Come on. Might have to go to the tweezers. There it goes. Okay. And then this goes over that. I'm not sure just exactly. I'm assuming that that would represent the angle of the gun. So when the gun was up, it probably all the way forward. Or mostly. I don't really know. We'll just leave it kind of like that. And then we've got this goes over that. Boy. Trying to put the minimal amount of glue I can. This will go here. Okay. Okay. Then we have a couple of more little. Let me check the instructions. Got this. Okay, we've got the barrel. Go here. And this will go here. I don't think that this has got any, well actually, it does look like it's got a key, but I may have sanded it. I'm not sure. Let's do it this way. Get that together. Okay. Make sure it looks straight. Which I think it does. Okay. It's a long gun, isn't it? Okay, and then we've got one more little piece here. Okay, that'll go up here. Goes from here to here. Sorry, getting it to where you guys can't see. Slips over that and into that. Well, <laughs> put a little glue on there. That a little bit. Okay, so the distance between here and here is going to be determined by this. So you need to get that on and in the correct position for that to go together. Okay. 
There it is. Okay. Okay, guys. Um, believe it or not, other than the seats, that's done. Oh, and, I, and I'll, I'll put the cylinders on. The cylinders will go here. They'll go back this way. Through here. And connect back to the back part of the gun. I'll have to probably do that off camera because that's going to be a little bit tricky. Looks to me, yeah, they'll fit. Just need to fiddle with them a little bit. Okay. Let me let me get these on off camera cuz they're I got to get them back in there and then I'll come back and I'll show you. Be be right back. Okay, there's the cylinders on. Um, this is permanently in this position. Um, in order to get the cylinders in, you have to glue them. There's really not an option to have them as where they'll swivel. So, um, the only thing left to do on this is there's a little seat, little set here, and there's a little seat that'll connect here and set down below. I'm not going to put those on right now. I'm just going to leave this alone and let it set. Uh, if you look real close, you can see right here where the cylinders connect. It's just right there. I had to glue those on. That's the only way they would stay on. It'd be nice if there was an option to raise or lower it, but it doesn't look like there really is. So um, I'm going to call that done. I've got to let this stuff set. I've got a lot of glue that's really soft. And uh, we'll get those seats built up next time and get a few other things uh, finished up. And then we'll start looking into getting some primer on this. Okay? Alrighty, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, be sure and go over and look at uh, jet scale models. Okay? And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.